Welcome back, Coach Gabby here for the cool down portion of Birkenstein. Woo, that was a more of a leg burner than I expected. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of those legs and probably some shoulders and abs in our cool down. So one of my favorite cool down poses is child's pose. So let's go ahead and start the clock and get into it. Whew, I hope you guys got a chance to get something to drink. I did not bring my Fit Aid this time, but not to worry, I will get it after I'm done here. So come on down. Whew, yeah, hang out in child's pose. Reaching your hands forward on every exhale. Try to get a little deeper into the stretch. Sort of working in opposite directions, our arms, our shoulders, our back. It's like somebody's pulling you from your, your booty, your hips, towards your heels. You can also, if you want, if you need a little bit more of a hip opener, you can go ahead and go this way. You can even move your legs apart and do this. This feels pretty good though. Three, two, one. Good, come on up out of that. We're gonna line our back and do some nice scorpion. This feels good. Go ahead and take your right leg Cross it over your body, and then you're gonna look towards your right shoulder. Should feel good on your lower back, your shoulders, your hips. Inhale and exhale. Can relax, bringing that heart rate down. You probably got pretty high with that workout. Good, let's go ahead. Left leg, cross the body. And go ahead and look towards your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Slow down that breath. Good. While we're on our back, go ahead and interlace your fingers two inches below your right knee. Go ahead and pull your right knee towards your right shoulder. Left leg's going to be straight. You want to get your shoulders and your back as flat on the ground as possible. On every exhale, try to bring that knee a little bit closer to your shoulder. Good. Go ahead and release your right leg. Interlace your fingers two inches below your left knee. Pull that left knee towards your left shoulder. Back as flat as you can make it. Right legs out straight. You can tuck your chin a little bit. And every exhale, try to bring that knee closer to your shoulder. Good, release your left. Go ahead and grab both knees. Try to grab your elbows over your knees. If you can't grab your elbows, you can grab your forearms or your wrists. Get a nice tight squeeze. Squish those legs into your belly. Try to relax your shoulders, flat, as flat as they can. Get them to touch the ground if it's possible, as well as your back. Nice and flat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, go ahead and relax your legs out straight. Your heels are going to touch, feet are going to flop open, arms by your sides, palms facing up. Let's up, let that belly rise and fall. <sighs> Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Okay, go ahead and sit up. We're going to reach for our toes. Let's go ahead and start with our feet flexed, chest nice and tall, reach for those toes with a tall torso. And then you can start to relax your back and let it round a little bit. Trying to get your head as close to your knees as possible. And then just hang out here again. Inhale and exhale. On every exhale, try to get a little deeper into the stretch. Good, go ahead and sit up. Let's go ahead and do a nice little twist. Left leg's gonna be straight, right leg is gonna 
cross over your left. You're going to take your left hand and pull your knee out of the way, and your right hand's going to go at the base of your spine, and you're going to look over your right shoulder. Chest nice and tall and proud. Good, and untwist. Right leg straight, left leg over right. Right hand pushes that left knee out of the way. Left hand, base of your spine, and look over your left shoulder. It's like wringing out a towel. The towel is your body. Good. Let's go ahead and stand up. Let's give those quads some attention if you need to hold on to yourself. I have a nice low ceiling so I can hold on to the ceiling. If you want to work on some extra balance, don't hold on. Stretching out those quads. They worked hard for us today. Good. Go ahead and switch legs. Heart rate should have come down quite a bit by now, I hope. It's so important to do cool downs. Hopefully this gets you guys into a good habit when we return to the gym. You'll be like, wait, I forgot to do something. Oh, I didn't cool down. Good. Let's go ahead and drop down. Head nice and heavy. Reach for our toes. Slowly roll up. One last thing to come up is your head. Deep breath in, exhale, last one, deep breath in, and exhale. You guys did great today, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will see you next Tuesday.